All right, Tim tells me this question was quite heavily upvoted, uh, which is why I included it, but I'm probably going to have to call on Tim to help me understand <laughs> this one. So the question reads, does the cache on the 5800X 3D minimize the need for fast RAM? So the answer there is yes. Or at least we don't know if that's specifically what causes it, but it, it is actually, yeah. it is, because, yeah. So as long as one has enough RAM to avoid hitting the page file, there's some sort of disconnect there because that's a, a separate... It doesn't seem that relevant. It's not... Yeah, that that's the part that confuses me um, because that's more RAM capacity than it is fast RAM. Yeah. Um, so, and then the rest... Then the, the next part of the question goes, Are any chance Hub and Buildzoid would do a collaboration video about the importance of RAM speed slash capacity and CPU cache to help us normies properly balance out uh, daily driver gaming PC builds? So... Always up for a collab with Buildzoid. We were actually meant to do one. I sort of let Buildzoid down, unfortunately. So apologies, Buildzoid. I was going to do some uh, 12th gen memory timing uh, testing for games and stuff, which you know, I'd still like to do. We've just had a lot of things come up and I had a bit of a lull there where I could do it, but other stuff came up pretty quickly. But yeah, m massive amount of respect to Buildzoid and all the work he does and his knowledge and all that stuff. So yeah, we love Buildzoid and we'd love to work with him. Um so that answers that part of the question. Uh, but as for like, I suppose the importance of RAM speed and capacity. Yeah. As you've sort of noticed with the 5800 3D, at least the speed part does depend on the CPU, the platform, the architecture, all that stuff. Capacity kind of depends on what you're doing, how important capacity is. Um, as we've sort of just found with the multitasking stuff, if you're just playing the game and don't really have anything else going on, by and large, I still believe 16 gigabytes of era, uh, 16 gigabytes of memory is acceptable. But if you've got Chrome tabs open, um, multiple monitors, so they're not being actually shuffled to page filed background tasks, they're active foreground tasks, then we're probably at a point now where 32 gigabytes really does make sense. And I'm, I'm using that regularly now in all the systems I put together. But again, they're sort of questions that depend. Um, and even fast RAM, it's 5800X 3D versus the 5800X. We've seen that low latency memory does benefit the non 3d model more but you have to make to to show memory performance has always been a bit of a funny one because you really have to benchmark to show the effects of uh, it, it's a c it's a very cpu limited testing which is applicable for some games and scenarios but a lot of games are still you're going to be end up being predominantly gpu bound so how much it matters again depends on the game but i think by and large most gamers they're not going to notice whether they do or don't tune their memory timings and the gains will be small because again they're primarily gpu limited but of course that depends on the game